Hello everyone, my name is Aflox. Once again, we're taking a look at the GPD Win Max. This is GPD's latest gaming handheld. Here we are taking a look at RPCS3, the latest build of today, which is uh, May 25th. And we're also taking a look at the latest patches that came out for The Last of Us. B-Side Gaming had uh, done a video on this as it was pretty poignant. So I'm going to just go in here real quick. Now, uh, Intel's GPU doesn't have the same type of performance as an NVIDIA GPU would. So we have a lot more texture artifacting going on. And no matter what other type of setting I've used, I've not been able to actually stop that from happening or get better performance. Usually anything that I start ticking on, I still have artifacting or I have worse performance. So th this is literally a one-to-one -one copy of what BSOD Gaming shows. Uh, and I'm not going to go over that. Uh, you can go directly to his video to kind of see that because otherwise it'll just kind of be robbing what he's doing. Here's that patch.yml uh, file that he links to. And you just put that in the root directory of RPCS3, which is right here. So you'll see if we just do patch, uh, and you'll see right there. So you just put it in the root directory and it'll load it. I have tried it with and without. Uh, and there is a gigantic difference in terms of uh, rendering uh, corrections as well as much better performance. Now, uh, the GPD Win Max is still not powerful enough to run The Last of Us. Uh, even though I have tried running at lower resolutions, I am not getting better performance. Um, and we do have really good CPUs on the GPD Win Max. This, this, these four Ice Lake cores are really good. It may just be quad core limitations at this point uh, regarding the CPU, um, but it remains to be seen. Now, the other part of this video is that I have managed to get greater than 30 watt stability performance. And we're going to see that here. Uh, you can see right here that the PL1 limit is set to 45 watt. Um, you can see our CPU package power is 90 degrees Celsius. Here's where things are going to get interesting. As soon as we start hitting too high of a temperature, uh, Intel's dynamic power limit is going to engage. And you're going to see this power limit change, uh, which will directly enforce a lower total ceiling TDP that we can go to. Uh, performance is going to go down as a result. Um, so this is kind of just kind of taking a look at two different things here. Uh, number one is that uh, I have been successful in getting, let me just fix this a little just so it's a little bit more visible. I don't want it to be that. Yeah, let me lock that. That's a bit better. Apologies for the kind of wobbliness that should straighten out. Yep, there we go. So time stretching is on and it's kind of necessary because otherwise it'd be kind of garbage. It's terrible as it is. It's not playable. We're still not there, but I thought as like for informational purposes, it would be worthwhile. You can see right there that PL1 jumped down from 45 watt down to 20 watt. And it's going to slowly start ratcheting itself back up uh, to because right now it kind of was saving itself. It was like, goodness gracious, I am too hot. Please let me save myself. Um, and as a result, as we start going back in up in TDP, our performance will slowly raise. Most highest FPS we're going to get to is about uh, 18, 18 FPS, so nothing really playable. And then we have all this texture artifacting going on, which doesn't really change much with any available settings on RPCS3. But we can see that the system will slowly start to raise its TDP. If you look at pack, uh, PL1 Power Limit 1, this will slowly start going up to what I set it to, 45 watt, um, until it uh, reaches a temperature that is way too hot and will down throttle itself again. Um, so this is more about um, like, hey, good stuff. Old Foxy Boy figured out how to get past 30 watt and not have the system do anything. So congratulations to me. However, the heatsink is uh, not able to withstand these wattages. Um, as indicated right here, you can see it's 92 degrees Celsius. As soon as we hit about 100 degrees Celsius, this power limit, the dynamic power limit, is going to get uh, locked in, and we're going to lose a bunch of performance again. But we can kind of just see how that works as I kind of traverse around uh, here. And then here's that compiling shaders, which I've been doing. I have been <laughs> trying to run this game for about five hours now, trying to compile enough shaders just so that it would stop compiling shaders. Um... Put to, put to no hope. 
Now, I know a lot of you guys are concerned about uh, 97 degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Celsius. The chip will save itself, so you really don't really have to worry about it. Um, and all of the external components on the WinMax are able to handle that temperature. Uh, not really to worry about, because the chip can withstand 100 degrees Celsius. There is a hard cutoff. Actually, we can start seeing artifacting happening up here. Nah, it's just the game. So unfortunately, The Last of Us is, at this moment, not going to be playable on the WinMax, even with those latest patches seen on BSOD Gaming. Uh, so, you know, as with everything, things improve as time goes on. Um, Breath of the Wild wasn't playable on the Win 2 initially, and that got to a much better state. Still not totally playable, in my opinion, but much better than it originally was, like, sensationally better. So there is always future updates to software that's going to improve things, so it's not the the end-all be-all. So considering that we're in a pretty good state here, obviously better things are going to be coming down the pipeline. shaders yeah I'm compiling shaders this might be a, a good point to, to leave it off at because there's like two things that are happening here number number one is that um, going, I guess. it's kind of a good indication of what happens I like that this guy's just chilling there, even though there's like a big explosion in the background. Here's a good one. Just another normal day. Alrighty, let me go ahead and cancel this. I'll close this. Uh, obviously, you can see that the above 30 watt is now unlocked by old foxy boy uh and the last of us even with the patches still isn't there yet for the win max unfortunately um i have tried a lot of things um not to say that that's the be all end all of anything and i'm sure that there's maybe some configuration but i've spent five hours on this today just like kind of tweaking little things compiling shaders left and right um you know maybe that there is i personally think that there's just it just needs more time to bake like there's just actual instead of like trying to fix these rsx trap stuff with patches just actually having better um you know letting the developers fix it uh and they've been great so i mean even where the state is of ps3 emulation is amazing and those guys constantly update even today there was an update so um yeah that's it this is the last of us on the latest build of uh, rpcs3 running on the gpd win max and most importantly, over 30 watt. Um, so that's it. Uh, as always, guys, thank you for your time. Thanks for watching.